Hi guys, Arthur Taylor here and today we're going to talk about how to hit your driver as far as possible by getting the greatest efficiency out of your golf swing. So I've done videos in the past about hitting driver as far as we can and some of the ingredients that we're looking for is we're looking to launch the ball high relative to your swing speed with nice low spin so that the ball carries maximum distance and then rolls out when it hits the ground. And some of the characteristics we're looking for with the golf swing is at impact, we're looking to get the club head moving up through impact. We're looking to move the club as quickly as we can and we're looking to obviously strike the ball in the middle of the club face. The key also for me is making sure keeping that spin down, hitting up will help. But one area a lot of guys kind of let themselves down a little bit is as they hit up on the golf ball, they actually present more and more loft to the ball, which loft in itself will create that little bit more spin. So if I hit a normal shot for me without really incorporating anything in there, we'll kind of see how my numbers stack up to begin with. Okay, so good solid strike. Just setting up a little bit right. Not turning over. 259, 279 total. So when we look at some of my numbers here, we're looking at a solid strike, kind of very towards the middle of the club face. Club face was just a fraction open, which is a bit unusual for me. I did swing from the inside and I hit up nearly four degrees. To pitch at 259 and roll out 279, my launch angle with the ball was 13.3 and the backspin was 2,800, so a little bit high on spin. Now we can see on the new screen, all those numbers are there again and the key thing for me there is if I can make sure that I can keep the difference between my launch angle and my angle of attack smaller, there'll be less spin loft presented with the club to the ball. So I still need to maintain my strike but if I can keep the loft down a little bit, there'll be less backspin on the ball, the ball hopefully fly out a little bit further through the air and therefore roll out a little bit more. And with my club head speed, maybe get another couple of mile an hour out of that, hopefully get up around that 300 yard mark. Okay guys, so pretty decent and I, I probably swing a little quicker than some of you guys, but, but it still becomes relevant to what you're trying to do. So one of the things I know for me is I always swing a little bit to the right and I've usually got my club face just slightly close to that. There's a little margin for error in that and that will depend on my shape of shot. One of the things that I personally think I don't do as well as I could to maximise my distance with driver is as my club works up at impact, I think sometimes my sh club shaft leans back slightly which then adds that little bit of loft. So one of the things I'm working on at the moment is even though I'm trying to feel that the club's working up, I'm trying to feel that my hands are staying a bit more in front of the shot, keeping the loft off the ball, yeah, off the club, sorry. And the idea being, as I can present less loft to that, that's actually going to, as long as I can keep my strike good, that's going to increase my ball speed. So my ball speed usually, if you've watched my videos, is probably 156, 157. It's very, very rarely that I can get up to that 160 or above. Now I did practice this a little bit the other day and kind of got a couple where I got up to 163, which was good. So I'm not really going to try and change too much in my golf swing. I still want to feel that swing from the inside and swing to the right and hit up want to maintain that strike towards the middle, if anything maybe just slightly towards the toe to keep that spin down for me, but I want to feel that those hands are staying a little bit leading through impact, which is going to keep the loft off the golf ball. So let's give it a go, see if we can get that carry a little bit further and that total a little bit closer to 300 yards. Okay, so maybe launch a little bit lower, pitching out a lot longer though, and rolling out 290. 
So again, the strike was good. Uh, didn't hit up quite as much on that one. Got my club face a little bit more square, but we can see the spins come right down to 2,300. So launched a little bit lower. Angle of attack a little bit lower, so that loft still around 14 degrees. But I still think I can sneak a little bit more out of that if I can hit up and keep that launch off. Okay, so we can see from the numbers there, that was not bad. Not bad at all. It, it's something that I have to be conscious of and I do need to think about it during the golf swing in order for me to be better with it. It is something that when you guys try it, you might lose a strike for a couple of shots and you might lose direction, but just try and get used to that feeling. So we're gonna hit one more to see if I can really get that distance improved and improve some of the numbers of how my driver will perform. Okay, so good solid strike. Just setting up a little bit right. Not turning over. 259, 279 total. Okay, so felt good. Pitching out there. And up to 300 yards. So again guys, I'm swinging from the right, from in to out, 2.1 degrees. My angle of attack is two degrees up, so I could, in theory, get up on that a little bit more. The club face was just slightly closed, and the reason that drew a little bit more was that it was, it was out the middle, but it was just fractionally towards the toe of the club. So we can see 112 mile an hour club head speed, ball speed at almost 160, Backspin 2,100, 273 carry, 300 yards total. Okay, so guys, all in all, bit of a pickup on yardage there. A really good improvement on carry, but also in total distance. And yes, I've swung a couple of mile an hour quicker, but that would only equate to kind of four to six yards. So definitely a bit more efficiency. Probably even with that last one, not quite as good a strike. So if I can get that one even more out the middle, get even more ball speed out of that and get a little bit more distance. So guys, keep up your work with driver. People that say driving distance isn't important aren't generally guys that don't hit it a long way. I'm not talking about you guys trying to hit it 300 yards because most guys aren't physically capable of generating enough speed in order to do that. But we're talking about maximizing your distance to get you as long off the tee as you can, to leave shorter shots in the green, chance to hit more greens, opportunity to score better. So like I said guys, we're still trying to feel that the club's working up to impact, impact which is why that ball's further forward. At address, we can still have that little bit of spine tilt to encourage that. We're still trying to swing from the right, and ideally we need that club face to just be kind of square or a little bit close to that but we want to try and feel that instead of the club head overtaking the hands and adding loft we're almost trying to feel that we're keeping the loft off the club through impact as ever guys really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch put that into practice and let me know how you're coming along subscribe to the channel if you don't already leave comments below and i'll try and get back to you hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here in the future stay in contact